I managed to finish up my radius tool. Um, I was waiting for my inserts, the RCMT round inserts. It has a 3 8 uh, .375 inscribed circle. I had to make the, the actual holder for it that fits inside the Shars 3 inch boring head. It uses 3 quarter inch inserts or boring bars for it. The quick change block is a Shars CXA heavy duty. Uh, which has an inch and a half bore, but it also uses a one inch sleeve that you can use to uh, adjust the tension with the two screws on top. So you can, you can add a little friction in it so it doesn't just, just flop over on its own. It'll, it'll, it'll pretty much stay wherever you put it at. Um, I set the height. Of the, it was a little tricky to set that, but once I got it set, I shouldn't have to move that. And uh, the... This is just a piece of aluminum I knurled out or, or machined out for a cap. This is a 3 8 bolt. I cut the head off, threaded the other end, and this little brass knob was something I had left over from another project. Um, it works pretty good, and uh, I went ahead and shot some clips on the lathe, making a couple of cuts. I did a full hemisphere cut on one end of an inch and a half aluminum 6061 rod and on the other end I did more of a two and a half inch radius um, so it'd be more something like similar to what you'd see on the end of a ratchet handle it's not a full hemisphere but it's a it's just a large radius cut on there so I'm gonna throw these clips together and uh, we'll, we'll see what it looks like and see what you think this is just a piece of inch and a half 60 61 that I saw cut the end off of And here I'm moving the cutter up against the nose of the live center on the tailstock so that I can align my, my Y axis and I zero that out. Now since I'm going to cut a full hemisphere on this end, I'm going to lower the cutter down until it just touches the material and I start to get a scratch cut. And that's half of uh, one and a half, so this is going to be a three quarter inch radius all the way on the end and that will give me a full hemisphere. Now I'll touch off on the end of the shaft and zero out my x-axis. And instead of cranking the uh, cross slide over on the boring head, what I do is I just move it back and uh, start my cut and then I move the carriage in toward the headstock as I'm making the cut, little by little. I'm just cutting by eye at this point, but I'm probably moving the carriage about a sixteenth of an inch at a time. Um, it will take a deeper cut, but you just have to force it harder. I'm surprised at how well it's cutting so far. Um, usually a carbide insert doesn't have the sharpest edge compared to uh, say something like a piece of high speed steel. But I did run a diamond file around the edge on the bottom to try to sharpen it just a little bit. And I think I, I got a little bit more of an edge on it than what comes normally. And here I am almost to the end, um, and I just, I just keep moving it until I finally it touches in the center and I make my final pass, and I'll sweep it back and forth a couple of times just for a, a skim cut. And this was after the last pass as finished. I didn't run any sandpaper or Scotch-Brite 
over it. This is uh, just how it turned out when the lathe stopped. Now earlier in the video I said this was going to be a, a large radius cut, about a two and a half inch radius. It's actually more um, like uh, an inch and a quarter radius. Um, I misspoke on that. And I didn't really, I didn't set the height precisely. I just ran the boring head out about as far as it'll go. Thank you. 